Hello there, Sagittarius. It looks like something that you thought will never be comes back again one more time. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello everyone, welcome in. This is a Sagittarius tarot reading. It is a general reading, usually between two energies. Let's dig in and see what sort of theme we have for you today. If you're interested in the extended to this video or in personal readings, there's links to both in the description box below. Death shall not take him. Who got that last week? It's either Gemini or Virgo? But it's very Scorpionic energy, okay? The thing that you thought was lost is not lost. The thing that hasn't been will be. It's a very Lazarus effect kind of energy. Gypsy Columbine. Nice. Marching to the beat of your own drum. Good. 38 reduced to 11. Number of mastery. Mastery plus starting a cycle from a place of knowledge. I love it. Gypsy Columbine. I wanted to read that for you. It says the free spirit in you is rewilding itself, shedding social conditioning and past patterns of behavior. It is shaking off socialization and emerging anew like a snake shedding a skin. Uh, the wild one isn't a savage. It is raw. Yes, but it's also wise, authentic, beautiful, and with a deep instinctive knowing as to what you must be. Can a bird ever truly be happy whilst trying to be a fish? True freedom is to be truthfully yourself. And you're starting a new cycle with knowledge. I'm here for it. Okay, show me what's going on with Sagittarius, please. <sighs> show me what's going on with Sagittarius, please. Oh, cool. You're, you're gaining the commitment that you want, whether it's work or a relationship. Could be with a person who has experienced a certain level of loss. Okay. Okay. Page of Swords. Fool. Seven of Cups. Chariot, Card of Cancer, Sun. Leo energy, seven of swords, justice card of Libra. Wow. I'm reading this is you, this is them, this is the situation. It feels like you have been taking the risk in a situation that you may not have allowed it to surface just how happy it would make you if this were to stick. Okay. Um... It's almost like you're willing to put a little more effort into the risk factor to make this happen, to kind of coax this person to choose the same thing. Like maybe they're shy, maybe they're timid, um, considering the loss that backed their energy, they could not be gung-ho about jumping into something again. Okay. Um, it seems that this person has felt the situation out for themselves where it feels fair enough at a bare minimum level that they're looking for, for it to, for them to choose to move forward with it. I just got a tweak in my shoulder. <sighs> just because I set my elbow on the table. Nice. <laughs> okay. So you seem to kind of be watching and waiting to see what they're going to choose. The thing that you thought cannot be can, and you're being accepted for who you are. Show me the details of the Page of Swords, please. Six of Cups, Two of Pentacles, Six of Swords, Three of Cups, Seven of Wands. Hmm, mm-hmm. It almost feels like you were further along in your healing than this person from the most 
recent pain. Okay, your past connection, their past connection. You feel like you've processed more, like you, perhaps you're further along. Okay, because you recognize what the connection is and about moving forward, and they just throw up seven of wands barrier kind of thing when you try to step past the three of cups, something that's more platonic or friendship, for example. Okay. So you're taking the risk here. Show me the fool. Two of wands, queen of swords, world is fixed energy, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. It's looking the other way. To, it's, you're trying to get them to look the same way as you. Double Aquarius energy there. That's a whole cycle too, from the fool to the world. I feel like you have taken it upon yourself to manifest a connection that's more warm and fuzzy this time around. Got it. There's a part of it where if this person pro approached new relationship more um, logically, you're kind of hoping for that to close out where it's okay to feel now. It's okay to feel things for this connection and for this person now. Show me the chariot, please. Empress, Card of Taurus, and Libra. Eight of Swords. Yeah, you'll roll out the red carpet for this person if they just let you. Taurus and Libra, Taurus again. Okay. Even though you may have some pattern thoughts about what marriage really is, what long-term relationship really is. Like you're really, you're willing to risk it, take the risk on this to see how it goes. Okay. Show me the seven of swords, please. Knight of swords, emperor, card of Aries, two of cups, ace of cups. Wow. You're really holding in a lot of emotions here. Like a lot, a lot. You're letting it look like it's not that serious. So I'll just be serious. <laughs> it's not that serious. It's no big deal. It's not this lovey dovey wonderful romance. This is a Sag who really wants to be like golden retriever boyfriend to their black cat girlfriend. That's what it feels like. They're very mysterious yet held back and you're like okay i gotta match that until they choose and i can be happy <laughs> or at least show it externally <laughs> okay it's one way to do it okay show me the seven of cups for this person please the seven of cups death card of scorpio ace of swords emperor nine of cups so they allow them got it okay they allow themselves to see the truth it does take some transformation in the process but it does allow them to see the truth that you emperor are their nine of cups are their wish okay Show me the sun, please. You probably never thought that this person was going to kind of like get with the program. <laughs> Two of cups. Devil, of course. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Empress, card of Taurus and Libra. Um, Capricorn, Leo, Libra energy. So this person is that person that very much wants their true love partnership and everything. The previous connections and ups and downs of life that has forged them into the Empress. So not only do you see them as the Empress, but they know they are. They know they have evolved to a certain degree. They know what it took to get there, the pain, suffering, and expansion and healing that went into it. So this is someone who triggers when they meet a new soul bond because they because what that has taught them is there's only 
lessons. They don't get to keep them. They cause pain and suffering with lessons that are lured in by good feelings in the beginning, which is why they don't do feelings in the beginning. Okay. So even though they know it's two of cups, it should be this great happy thing. They're still the devil because they know it's this two of cups stuff that has caused the pain that has made them evolve into the empress. So I get it. I do get it. Show me justice, please. Six of wands, moon. Queen of cups. Okay, so they feel like Aquarius, Pisces energy. They feel like they have done enough vetting even though they technically don't know the depths of their own heart space as it pertains to this connection yet. But they do know that they've done enough vetting to allow this connection into their experience fully. Okay. What does is, what is Satch do with this understanding? <laughs> You're in the car. You're on your way. <laughs> Ah, you start falling in love pretty fast. Be careful now. Scorpio, Cancer. Okay. The more healing that happens in this connection, the more Ten of Cups is possible. But it's probably not going to come in as fast as you want it to. Nine of Wands. Knight of Coins. That, that's slow energy. It's slow and it's exhausted. Okay. Okay. But is Ten of Cups possible? Yes, it is possible. Okay. Is there anything Sag has to know about connection with this person before we move on to the extended? You're going to see this person kind of blossom or bloom the more you get into connection. Okay. Um... They're got it. They're work they're looking for markers of long-term stability next. Now that this is vetted for, okay, it's okay to allow this. She this I'm saying she because she's come Empress twice, Queen of Wands. Okay. Um she's looking for markers of long term before she's all in completely. She's actively looking. She's hoping that they're there. She is hoping that they're there. Okay. So if you get caught up with the falling in love part, she's getting caught up with the long-term markers of indication. I'm not saying pump the brakes on falling in love, especially can't really do that if you're already mid-fall, <laughs> but be mindful so your emotional needs can get met in the process. Ex expectations can be managed. You, you revealing yourself to her is going to give her more hope is the point. Interesting. I understand it, though. I do. I understand it. It's very pragmatic. As a Taurus sun sign, Capricorn rising, I, I totally understand. Okay. I'm going to head over to the extended. Let's get what's going on with her. Because definitely some shit has happened. <laughs> Let's see what's going on with her in her current energy, near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you're interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you, as well as timing, Feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I will see you guys over there. Bye. Ooh.